so I want to talk about the day of a show and what goes through my mind and what I'm looking for when I am photographing uh, a concert. So we're going to use, for example, here the Automatic Fire show at the Theater of the Living Arts in Philadelphia uh, back the day before, was it the day before? I, one of the days before Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving or the day after uh, for the Gobbleroo, uh, a Jackson event for WMMR. So basically the day starts, uh, I drive down, it's usually Ari and I driving down and, you know, park. Um, when I get to the venue, being that I've shot here before, I, I know what I'm looking for, or I know what, you know, what's been done there before and what the lights are going to be like. So I get there, I, I put my bag where I want it to be, and then I wait for the band for sound check. And as soon as they get there, you know, I do grab my camera and I throw on a certain lens. Um, in this case, I started with a 24 to 70 and just started this, I think the 24 to 70, and started to shoot some. Uh, shots of sound check to me it's it's interesting when you go to sound check and you know those are the shots that most people don't get because mostly they're shooting the show and they get three songs to shoot but here I get free reign to shoot whatever I want walk wherever I want so I'm usually on stage um, getting close to the drummer getting close to Walt uh, doing whatever I need to do because I'm there to capture pictures and they and they let me do that um, so you know you walk around, you play with different angles, and in this case, there were some shots where the lights were really strong on stage, so I used the bodies of the musicians to, you know, create a glow around them to block these harsh lights, because these lights were harsh. You can see that in the pictures of Brian where he's smoking, how harsh the lights are in the background, uh, where, you know, the, the smoke looks great and everything, and I was able to keep you know, the exposure proper on his face, because I, I, I switched to manual for things like that, uh, because I know that if I don't, things are going to get thrown off, uh, my settings are going to be thrown off, uh, because of the light in the background. So, you know, that's sound check. I, I just hang around, take pictures, and, 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 you know, try a few different things, because those are some really interesting shots. Where there, there are always some fun things that come of that. So after sound check, you know, it's just hanging around. You know, it's up in the, the dressing room and sometimes taking pictures. In this case, I didn't. I wasn't just shooting everything, um, because I was there just to really do the live show, just to, you know, to get out there and test out this new 70 to 200 28 VR2 that I had at the time. Um, but, you know, if I'm doing a job, I, I'm usually... I'm gonna shoot candid things behind the scenes uh, and, and and capture some of those images. So when the show starts, you know the the TLA has a barricade, but they push it all the way against the stage, and you can really, you know, you don't have much room. But I, I knew what I was going for. I knew that Nick was gonna play during this show, and I wanted to be in front. I, I, some a lot of times I shoot from the stage or backstage, you know, onto the stage, and it's tough at the TLA because. There's not much backlight. They have some front light going, and you know, which makes it easier to shoot from the front. Um, so that's what I decided to do. I sat in the pit area, which really, legit, literally, was right up against the stage. So I had to squeeze in there, and I did. Um, so you know, I hung out in one position for the whole show. I work a couple lenses: 70 to 200, 24 to 70 and 14 to 24. Uh, you know, I like the 24 to 70 for this because you get nice full body verticals. Uh, you can do horizontals where you get a lot of the scene of the stage in there or multiple people in the picture. And that's important when I'm out there shooting, um, trying to get as many different angles as I can. And then knowing that Nick was gonna come out, come out on stage to play, I, I know where he primarily stands and I know a lot of his moves so I was prepared with the 70 to uh, sorry I used the 24 to 70 for him because I knew I wanted to get full body motion and tight shots just weren't gonna weren't gonna cut it um, plus he only ended up playing for like a minute or so a minute and a half to two minutes of that song so I knew that I had to get a lot of good stuff quick and I really did I was able to get some very nice shots of him playing um, that you know he really liked because that's just you know how it turned out um, so yeah I, I anticipated what was gonna go on I knew that I had to have the certain lens on for that song to start because I had to get quality images of him and that's you know that's what I was able to accomplish And it was very tough lighting um, 
you know, when the lights drop and there's no front light and no spotlights, which are awesome at shows, it makes it difficult to shoot. Um, but, you know, I was very happy with what I got here. Uh, and, then, and then I finish off the show here with some shots of Brian Killian on the drums. You know, there were some funny things I didn't notice when I was shooting that I captured him losing the drumstick, having it slip out of his hands. But, you know, I got it. You know, I guess you get a feel for when things are happening and you shoot at certain times, you know, where the sticks aren't going to block the face or, or you're going for some motion. But here I was able to, you know, I, I knew it was happening. I don't know, I saw him lose it and I snapped at that point and I snapped again. And I, I don't let the motor drive run too much because that's just, you know, a lot of wasteful shots. And, you know, I like to pick my shots and be very selective. So, you know, after the show... You pack up. I mean, I helped sell merch this night, so I didn't really shoot a lot after the show, but generally I will shoot after show with guys hanging out and, and with the fans and things like that. But then, you know, I get home. First thing I do is I offload the images in the Lightroom. Uh, then I rename them with the date, you know, year, month, date, uh, underscore, and then the and then whatever detail I want to put in there for the file names, and I fi refile name everything. Then I make the initial pass of how many... You know, the photos that I like, I give them five stars, uh, and I keep all the, I keep everything. I don't delete any of the photos uh, after, because you never know if you need to come back for them. And, you know, you sleep on it, and then the next day I, I come and do my edits. So, really, that's how I run through a day uh, when I'm shooting. So hopefully that helps and gives you some insight into how I go and shoot. Talk to you later.